Now that we've finished defining the site for our portfolio, we're going to start building our portfolio. And the first step uh, to do that is to link up a what's called a cascading style sheet. And we're going to start off by doing that with our index page. Eventually, all of our pages will be uh, based off of this page. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and start by double clicking on this in our files panel. You should see your, index, your files open in your files panel double click the index file to open that up and what you're going to see is a pretty much a blank page um, and what we need to do is switch over to code view we're going to do all of our portfolio building in code and so to to do that I click on the the code button and you're going to see a few things uh, some some lines of code for us to start off with I'm going to quickly explain what some of these things are up at the top you're going to see doc type HTML public and this essentially uh, will tell a web browser that this is a HTML document. Uh, you're going to see a, a head tag, um, you're going to see some uh, a title title tag here and then there's the closing head tag and then you're going to see a body body opening and close tag and then here is the closing HTML tag. We're going to get into what these things mean in here in just a second but first we're going to link up our uh, CSS style sheet. Now a style sheet is a really cool thing. Um, it allows us to uh, essentially create layout designs and text formatting and all kinds of different types of uh, you know options, formatting options, any, anything from background color to text color uh, to inserting you know background images, um, things like that. It's what makes web pages look good. Um, and the power of a, a cascading style sheet is that when we link it up to uh, any page within our site, uh, those pages are going to get the same um, styling. So that means if we want to change uh, you know, a background color in one page, uh, we, we only have to do it in the style sheet and when we change it in the style sheet it'll change uh, the background color for every page that we've used that style sheet in. I've already made a style sheet for us. If you click on the uh, the, file, the little twirl arrow um, underneath the CSS folder in our files panel, you'll see that there is a file in there and it's called portfolio main.css. There are other types of uh, style sheets um, that you can use in HTML. There is what's called uh, inline styling, which only affects elements directly in a page or directly in that section. And there's embedded um, style sheets, which uh, are only uh, styles on that page directly. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit more of that later, but just so you know, we're pretty much going to be using a style sheet for all of our pages, and it's just more efficient and more effective use of, um, of our time. So to do that, I need to link up the style sheet uh, in, to this HTML document. So I'm going to place my cursor after line 4 where you see meta, HTTP, content, and all that kind of stuff and I'm just going to hit the return key. All styling goes in the head tag. So anything that affects the, the look and design of our page in reference to styling goes inside the head tag. And all tags have an open and a close. So this is the open where you have two carrots and then inside you have the element which in this case is the head element. And then down here on the bottom where you see the forward slash that's the closing part of the tag. Okay. So where I have my cursor at in line 5, I'm going to start typing some lines of code. And I'm going to try to go slow here so that you guys can follow along. So the first thing I need to do is I need to type in a left caret. And as soon as I do that, you're going to see some code hinting pop up for me. Okay. As I start to type, I'm going to type in link. So you're going to see as I type in li, you're going to see how it narrows it down on my list. And I want to select link. So if I have links selected in Dreamweaver, I just hit the enter key or the return key and it'll finish it out for me. And this is good, so just in case you misspell something or don't quite write it out right, uh, it'll, get, it'll get that whole thing in there for you. Because with code, you have to type in things exact. If you don't type in things exact, it's not going to work. And then type in the space key and we're going to type in H R and then we should say the, see the href option there. So click return and enter there. 
and then you should see a little thing that says browse okay and go ahead and hit enter again and it's going to bring up a file selection dialog box and so since I've already made this CSS style sheet you're gonna double click inside your last name first name portfolio and you're gonna double click into oops to get rid of that click into the CSS folder double click into that and then you should see a uh, file name uh, portfolio main CSS so just go ahead and select that double click that and so what you should see in your line of code is link href equals in quotation marks this is the folder the underscore CSS folder forward slash portfolio main CSS the forward slash represents a folder this represents a file path this is what's called a relative link a relative file path okay so what's inside the quotes here is our file path so it's inside of the CSS folder indicated by the forward slash that's the name of the folder underscore CSS and then the name of the file is portfolio underscore main dot CSS we know that this is a file because all files have a file type that is indicated with the period at the end of the file name next I need to type in another space and again after if my my coding is correct it'll bring up my code hint dialog box on Dreamweaver and we're gonna type in type so as soon as I type in TYP, it'll select type, and we want to select text.css there. And then next we want to type in REL, and this is for uh, relationship, and this, this is a style sheet. Okay, so you should have all this line of code here, and then we need to close this out with a right caret. So this actually, this tag is what's called a self-closing tag. So you're going to see this at the end. You're going to see in this one tag, you're going to see a uh, forward slash at the very end. So it should say link href, quotation marks, CSS portfolio main dot CSS, type is a text, CSS, and style sheet at the end there. Okay. Uh, what this does for us, is it's going to allow us to see both files at the same time. So to, to do that, go ahead and hit File, Save. After we link up our style sheet uh, to our index page, if for some reason you don't see, if it doesn't update right away, and you don't see this little bubble right next to, underneath our file tab where it says index.html, and where it says source code portfolio main, if you do not see that, make sure you Make sure you save, first of all, save your file, and then exit out of it, and then reopen index.html, okay? And after you do that, if you've done this right, and everything looks good here, you should see what's called, what our portfolio page, or our style sheet page, linked up with our index page. So if you actually click on this guy, this is what's in our style sheet. And believe it or not, this is actually a separate file, but Dreamweaver allows us to see both files at the same time by toggling between our source code, which is the HTML, and between our CSS style sheet, which is this, this, the CSS page. Okay, These are two different files. You notice, the, notice how it says portfolio main.css. When you click on the source code, this is .html. This, this file type is a .html. These are two different um, files. Okay, But again, Dreamweaver allows us to toggle between the two. And this is helpful because we're going to be using and inserting a lot of styling into this page. Okay, So if you do not see these two buttons right there, again, make sure you save and then exit out. Just click it out of the, the, the tab up in the top and then reopen index.html. Uh, in the next uh, tutorial, we're actually going to start setting up some basic properties uh, for our pages.